hi guys welcome back to my channel so i'm doing another reaction video for you today and this is basically me reacting to a chemical peel gone wrong they do go right in a lot of cases but on the flip side they can go wrong as well so i'll be reacting to one of those videos today a man says his skin was cooked by a chemical peel gone wrong. I was like in pain. Neo White went viral with claims that an Atlanta-based award-winning esthetician gave him second-degree burns. Now he's filed a half-billion-dollar lawsuit. Yes, they owe them something very serious. Neo White was a client of the Diamond Faces skincare bar in Atlanta for about two years. He says that he typically opted for the microdermabrasion treatments. It's a minimally invasive procedure. It helps with your overall skin tone and texture. If you're scared about getting chemical peels, microdermabrasion is a good substitute, I think. It's a good option. So chemical peels are riskier than the microderm because it's literally just scraping the top of the skin and it's a bit more controlled he says then in december 2021 he asked for a mild chemical peel this is a gentle treatment that removes the outer layer of your skin it helps with uneven pigmentation dryness acne fine wrinkling he says everything went well so he asked for another one a stronger one february 17 2022 but he says this time the deeper one was one of the most painful experiences in his life so he went from a, a mild appeal to trying a deeper one <laughs> Atlanta esthetician yeah. refused to refund me my money $150 after getting chemical peel and I have a second a degree burn on my face. That's his face just days after he says that he got a chemical peel on February 17, 2022 at Diamond Faces Skincare Bar. Well, before I left the office that day, my face was like white and, and gray. And it looks like as if, you know, like, you know how sometimes you have to like put lotion on your face and it's not completely rubbed all the way in. That whiteness that he's talking about is called blanching. So if you're of a lighter complexion and if you're white, if you have white skin, a Caucasian skin, the effects of that isn't as severe as if it was on somebody with black skin, as in his case. Was it excruciating pain for you? Yes, and that was one of the reasons why I decided to get up and, and go to the hospital to seek some type of medical uh, attention. What did they tell you at the hospital? Um, they told me, they said second degree burn. He was referred to a burn center. They said it could be a number of things. It could be, it could have been a, uh, you know, that she could have not maybe wiped it completely off, you know, or it could have been that she used, a, a, you know, whatever percentage that she used could have been too strong for my skin to handle. Burns are a side effect of peels, but the degree to which that happens though is another story. Um, but if you get minor burns from a peel, you can use hydrocortisone to alleviate that. Just, you know, just a note. White disclosed to us that he was a burn victim. At the age of 12, 95% of his body was burned after he fell down some stairs while carrying a pot of soup. To understand this case better, I spoke to Kay Kendrick. She's the chairman of the Georgia Board of Cosmetology. He's a burn victim. Do you feel like he should have gotten a chemical peel? Well, it, I would say no. I would have said that should have been advised under a medical doctor's supervision. I'm not trauma this. And this man is a burn victim from before so imagine him going through all of this so i understand him wanting to sue xyz we're not going into that let her feel him something on Instagram Live, Cherry told LA-based esthetician Ronnie Mitchell that she did nothing wrong to Neo White and he's doing this for attention. He did set up a GoFundMe page back in March. It only raised $60 of his $5,000 goal, but he says it's really not about the money or clout. When I reached out to her and I did not get a response, you know, or an apology or anything, it's, it came off as if, you know, um, she didn't care or, or anything. Now you don't want to give me my $150 back. Now I'm about to get an attorney and now I'm about to make sure that you owe me more than $150. Service providers and clients should work together should be checking in should be communicating to ensure that everything is good on the on the client side of things the shape room did reach out to cherry she told us by phone that she stands by her work and neil white did not follow the direction she gave him according to the georgia board of cosmetology there are different grades to chemical peels and estheticians are prohibited from using certain acids that only doctors can use in that previous interview cherry did say that she used a 20 percent tca peel which is allowed under georgia state law we as a skincare professionals beauty providers we have a responsibility to ensure that we have gone through the proper training to administer certain treatments. We also have a responsibility to ensure that clients are a good candidate for the treatments that they're doing so that we can avoid drama at all costs. Depending on the depth of the peel, the skin can get darker before it starts to strip off. And in that case, the skin shouldn't be tampered with those strip off peeling skin because it can get worse and lead to a burn. Would you sue because of this? What would you do in this instance? Like what Jamaica would do, what you would do, more and more, what you would do, down below. Certain treatments I don't do on certain people. So if I realize that you're not in the state of mind to receive if you're not a good candidate for a particular treatment because it just doesn't make sense in the long run. 
everything isn't about money. I think peace of mind on both ends, peace of mind for the client and peace of mind for me is equally as important. So sometimes if we just slow out certain things in the video with Neil, he has been going to his esthetician for about two years and he's done treatments with her before. So to see that things really escalate to that extent is kind of sad because usually if you go into somebody for that long, you'd have formed some kind of bond with them and one of the panel level with each other. Hopefully that was the case or maybe it wasn't since, or maybe things changed since it reached that far to him suing her. But yeah, that's what I have to say. You guys can let me know your thoughts below. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.